what is going on everyone in this video i'm going to provide you guys with some simple ideas and some advice if you're looking for a cost effective way to build a decent sized chicken coop for your flock the custom coop i put together primarily consists of pallets although i did utilize other materials i already had laying around you can replicate a simple design like this using 100 percent just pallet wood you know minus the windows and hardware of course I went with a very simple design since the build was time sensitive, however it still provides protection from the elements as well as prevents unwanted predators from having access, which was my top priority and main concerns. You know, this coop isn't a finished product as I'd like to do more with the interior as far as the nesting boxes go and add some features for enrichment, but I didn't bother going too crazy with those features anyway since they free range a majority of the day anyhow. It's definitely a time consuming process to pull apart pallets and remove nails, especially since I needed roughly 300 or so boards and you might not have a 100% success rate pulling them all apart without breaking any. Um, no matter what kind of project you do or in life in general for that matter, you're either going to have to pay with time and effort or money and sometimes both. With this setup I was able to eliminate 90% of costs since the materials were available to me and some were recycled, but although you'll benefit financially, you need to be willing to put in the time and the effort to make it happen. I did not document every little step of the coop's progress, but you'll get the general understanding of how it was structured based on the photos that I provided. A great idea from preventing draft and water from entering the coop walls. You could overlap the exterior boards, but since it was simpler to lay them flush horizontally, I just went with that and patched the seams of the interior. As far as the run goes, the structure was made from logs, which cost me nothing, uh, wrapped in hardware cloth, and I just used the door from the old outdoor ferret enclosure, since I'm currently working on a new build for that as well. So some great advice I can give you guys when it comes to pulling pallets apart. There is a few ways you can go about it. Some people use a hammer and a chisel, and some have this device referred to as a pallet buster which is usually going to run you about 60 bucks or so and works great but only if you have the type of pallets that use the 2x4 boards to hold them together on the frame and the boards could afford to be a bit thicker than that um, but not if you're using the style of pallets that I used for this project. I'm um, using an older pallet with a 2x4 frame as an example and you'll see the fork fits great and will do the job just fine but if you have pallets like I used um, which have about 4x4 inch blocks as the support the fork will not fit around them if you're utilizing that pallet buster. The best way to go around this is to either remove one of the blocks and use it as leverage or just take a 4x4 block if you already have one and place them in the corners where the nails meet the frame and disperse your weight evenly on each side of the board and don't go in the middle first because you'll risk splitting the wood. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick video. I didn't go too far into every detail for time's sake, but if you do have any questions or recommendations, feel free to drop them down below, and thank you very much for watching.